Hey everyone, just wanted to share some cool stuff that I've got in my range bag. So I don't know if you guys remembered, um, my Atlas build got made a little insta famous by, by Atlas when uh, they published the photos right after the build was complete. And the, the cool part about this build, besides it being just an awesome, awesome piece of art, is the new Atlas thumb rest that they put on there, the, uh, the slide lock thumb rest. Now, I, I've been a big fan of the, the Nitro fins in the past, and I had one on my previous limited gun. Um, I use it, I, it feels great. Uh, I use it primarily for, for building my grip more so than using it to try and control recoil, you know, just as a good placement to help do that. Uh, and this new Atlas version is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, so I wanted to show you a little bit of a comparison because I had a couple questions come in to me. Um, now let's look at the, the Atlas version. Again, this is around where the, the Nemesis, or I'm sorry, not the Nemesis, where the Nitrofin started. If you look at this Atlas version, it starts a bit higher up, right? So it starts a bit higher up, has a, a similar slope. Actually, I, I, it's a little bit of a different angle. Uh, it's hard to tell exactly the difference, but it's slightly different and it fits out well. But I love where it kind of ends, right? You'll notice now it ends a lot higher up, right around the slide, helping you really form a very nice high grip with your, with your support hand um, on the pistol. So if you are a fan of thumbs forward grip, uh, you like to grip the pistol high up to really give yourself a good grip on the pistol, um, this is awesome, right? Um, it gets you right up there. So, you know, when I initially saw the pictures, I've got tiny little small elf hands, but I was worried that with it being so high up, if it was going to make my right hand kind of bump up against the, the safety, right? But remember, Atlas on all their new pistols are putting this high thumb rest uh, safety on there. So it's canted a little bit further up. You know, normally the, the, slot, the safeties, when they're in their fire position, would rest right around here, right? So this newer version that they've been putting stock on all their pistols is a higher version. So it gets your right hand all the way, your right thumb and your right hand all the way up there as well. So all these, these controls that we're putting on this pistol are meant to get you nice and high um, riding up there and a good placement as you forming your grip from the holster or from, the, from doing a mag change, right? So this in conjunction with this are perfect combination. They just add together. They're like two perfect puzzle pieces in, in your grip formation. Um, so as you start to reform or form your grip, this Atlas version of the thumb rest is great. It's a little bit uh, higher, higher up and really lets you really form that grip with both your hands and they fit snug together, you know, within this gap and, fi and filling up the, and getting, trying to get as much contact with that grip as possible. Um, I've seen another pick from Atlas coming out um, where they've taken off this top right-hand corner of the, the thumb rest. I think that's great. It's, it's a little bit more like, it looks a little bit closer to how this is kind of set up where there's a portion back here that's a little bit slimmer down. Um, I don't mind it being a, a big flat piece of metal over here. You know, it kind of helps in the way that I, I kind of ride my thumb down onto that pedal, uh, onto that platform um, as I'm forming my grip. Uh, it's, it's a great piece, right? I don't know if Atlas is in mass production with these yet. I was lucky enough to get one on uh, my, my pistols now. Uh, hopefully I'll get to shoot it a little bit more uh, during whatever is left of this season. Um, but if you are on the market for a thumb rest slide, uh, slide lock 
and Atlas starts to, to mass produce these, take a look. It is a good, solid piece of metal that feels really comfortable in the hands. Well, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And I hope that this was a good preview of what Atlas will be hopefully mass producing soon. See you on the range.